Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri's on here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! We're about to do the Vanilla Cloister of Trials, and I couldn't possibly take on a task as daunting by myself, so I have invited a special guest to suffer with me. Hey everybody, it's Josh Jepson! That's right, none other than Mr. Jepson himself, yeah. who is uh, incidentally my person that I named Ifrit after in this LP, so... <laughs> Hell yeah. Which is pretty awesome. It is widely known that this is like practically this is one of the butt ass, ugliest, stupidest looking places. <laughs> what? Yeah, no kidding. Perfection. Yeah, I think the reason they made it look like this though was kind of to really capture the feel of Machina. Like the entire Yevon Temple is made of Machina. All right, yeah. So, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Chipmunk Tim explain a few things here. The Vanilla Cluster of Trials is actually simpler than you might think. Try to visualize it as two conveyor belts doing this. You will start at the beginning of the first conveyor belt and constantly be moving forward. If you get to the end of the conveyor belt, it automatically loops you back around to the beginning, okay? Now, your first conveyor belt has three checkpoints on it. One, two, three. The second conveyor belt has four checkpoints. These two checkpoints lead to each other. This goes on to a dead end. Actually, it goes like that. And this one leads you out of the temple to the end. So we're just going to ignore that. Now, you're going to start right here. This checkpoint will simply turn you around on the same conveyor belt, so it really has no purpose. You can ignore it. When you start out, there will be a sphere on this side of the second checkpoint, which you will move to the other side. And that's all you have to do on this entire conveyor belt. So once you've done that, come down here. And actually, by doing this, you're going to, uh, this is not going to be connected. And when you put the sphere where it goes, it'll connect that passageway. So, this conveyor belt's done with. Get on this passageway, go down here, you'll bring the sphere here, and come back. Now, all you have left to deal with is this conveyor belt right here. It's really quite simple from here on out. You'll have two passageways, and you'll start with the third one, and you'll simply go back and forth between the third and second ones until eventually you'll get the destruction sphere here, which you will use here. Then you'll come back here to pick up the bell sphere. And that's when you'll finally take it out of the end and finish the temple. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I didn't tell you we were going to do that, but. <laughs> Lol. I'll be inserting a piece of video that I made earlier. All right, yeah. What we're doing here, in a nutshell, in under a minute. And I fast forwarded it so I was like a chipmunk. It's like really oh, all right, yeah. Yay! Takes fear. This uh, this place kind of reminds me of the, uh, the the Temple of Twilight or whatever it is in. Uh, oh yeah. Twilight Princess. It does. I was just thinking about that when I was watching this video here. Huh. I think that's one of the reasons why I wasn't real crazy about that area, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It also reminds me of the crystal in Final Fantasy XII. I hate that area, too. Mm. Probably haven't seen that, though. No. Not not a big Final Fantasy player here. You're not missing much. <laughs> so we're moving in this crystal here to complete the bridge down below. Indeed. And there's much of that. Oh, and my nose is just driving me crazy today. Just dripping and dripping and dripping. Yeet. So push it back. Hopefully that Chipmunk Tim explanation will save me from having to explain too much of this. What we're doing here. I think one thing I didn't explain in the Chipmunk video, though, was how these arrow things work. Basically, the arrow has to be pointing the right way as you go over it, and then you press the button to activate it as you're going over it, and if you press it when the arrow's putting in the, pointing in the wrong direction, it won't take you there. Oh, so wow. You have to, like, time it just right. It's really a pain in the ass. Except for this one down here. This one will stop and let you choose. Otherwise, all the other ones, it has to, the timing has to be right. So you might have to go over it and let it loop you back to the beginning and go over to the same one again before you'll be able to get where you want to go. Oh, yeah, right. It sucks about this. Yeah. That sucks. This sucks, donkey, like balls. I don't know. Overall, I've heard that this place is pretty bad, though. Oh, yeah. Well, certainly is. It's like really long winded and boring. Pretty uh, much. I don't know why they. Why would they do that? I mean, the rest of the game is alright. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They're just trying. I think they were, like, overdoing it with the whole Machina thing, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Man, these guys really are crazy. This really is the true face of Yevon. So this is the second conveyor belt, which is the only one we need to deal with now. So we go up to number three. Please, please. Oh, man. Dang it, I skipped it. I have to start over. Yeah. They had to start over in the video, too, though. Yeah, and that's... Oh, I just farted. I felt good. <laughs> like the real annoying orange. Why did I say the real annoying orange? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yes, we did it. All right, Victorious! Kohiro! Kohiro! <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take this Pavel Sphere and 
I didn't really explain like what you do either. Like I said, go back and forth between the two places. Pretty much just do as much as you can when you get to each area. <coughs> now you're not going to touch the sphere again until the very end of the temple, so just leave it alone right there and take the glyph sphere. What? Oh, we need to get the glyph sphere from the other place and bring it over here. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> That's a pisser. So we're going to get the glyph sphere from the other place, bring it back over here, and trade it for a destruction sphere, which we'll take back to the second one. That'll pretty much be it. Uh, then we gotta do this. Ooh, I don't know how fast I'm gonna fast forward this, maybe. Of course, I don't think I really need to. It's like, I kinda want people to be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Shit. Well, hopefully you'll be able to get it done in 14 minutes, cuz... Yeah, really, cuz the panel the call recorder that I'm using only goes up to 15 and then it cuts us off. Yeah, no kidding. It actually disconnects the call, too. It's kinda sucky. Yeah. But, oh, uh, well. Oh. I don't know which direction to point the D-pad. There we go. Almost bought the farm. <laughs> like Charizard. I got Charizard. Yeah. Wait, that didn't make any sense. What? I have. I, I don't even touch. I shouldn't even try <laughs> to talk about Pokemon. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Go hit Yes, I am. I was just in the second one. Yes! Whew. We made it that time. I don't know how I did it, but I hope. Oh. The music never does what I think it's gonna do. Mus the music in here is kind of weird, though. I kind of like it. it is. <clears throat> if you look, like, really close, in the very distant background, you can see, like, the side of a building or a coliseum-looking structure. Oh, yeah. That helps this place to look a little cooler, I guess, but... It's probably not. I can't barely see it on my TV at all. I don't know if it's coming through on the capture card any better. But... Probably not. Like me. So we got the destruction sphere. Now we just take it back to number two. And put it in. Ah, I should've gone. That's good. <laughs> so you're doing anything for Christmas this year? Oh, Christmas. Christmas is going to be awesome. Like having the family come over and everything. It's going to be it's going to be great. It's going to be good times. All right. Yeah, we're probably going to get together. I think Luca Jin might be visiting. I don't know. <laughs> Let's talk Ooh. to her about it last night and she said she didn't really like have anyone to spend it with and I kind of felt bad. And I've wanted her to come for so long. Or uh, not uh <laughs> Could I have picked the worst choice of uh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, but she might be coming out. It would be so awesome if she could, though. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. <clears throat> so we put the destruction sphere. I don't know what the destruction sphere really does here, but it's... No, no, do nothing. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, man. This is going to take, like, this entire video just to do this play. I can't believe this. Yeah, Too no But well, one other thing I read somewhere was that when they designed these plays, is they wanted the character to feel Yuna's intimidation. I guess they definitely did that with this place. Yeah. I just don't imagine... The only reason we're coming here is to pick up that sphere. Now that you're done with the destruction sphere, you can finally pick up the Bavel sphere here. The walkthrough says to put it in the pedestal, but you don't have to. You can just carry it. But you have to have a sphere in the pedestal for it to make a platform. I didn't mention that either. Sometimes it won't work. <laughs> Yaha! Oh god, we're almost done! Yay! Oh wow, Man, that went by faster than I thought it did. Hell yeah, just gotta take it right here. Oh, I hate this part. Like, they just put this platform here for no reason at all. And it causes the pedestal to come up, and then you just have to push it to make another platform. It's like, why did they do that? Because yeah. I was wasting my time. Especially if you don't know what's over here and you're just coming for the first time and you don't realize this is the way out. You come over here thinking to find something and nothing's there. And it's a secret passage! <laughs> yeah, I saw that HC Bailey was actually on the game station now. I'm like, holy crap. I didn't see yeah. it coming. 
Yeah, HT Bailey's doing good for himself. Kick ass. I was actually thinking about starting the video using his voice, like saying, hey, HT Bailey here. And I was like, yeah. Hello, everybody. HT Bailey here. He's gonna really. I, was, I, I can't, like, imitate him. Like, I, well, I never could, really. But, uh, I, 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 I've got HP Bailey. He's very good. He's, he's, he's a really funny dude. Uh huh. Love it when he quotes Groundhog Day. That's my favorite movie. Well, of course, people know that, but yeah, it's crazy. It's cool to see other fans of it out there. Yeah. Nightlands, that's for Kamari. I want to take a look at that actually in a minute. Because you have to bring the Velosphere with you to get that, otherwise, you can't make that platform. Let me just take a look and see what that is. Oops. No, 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 no. Slow down. Start over. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Jeez, I got so much crap in. Oh my god, that's nice. <clears throat> oh, piercing and sensor is good too, but man, I tell ya. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll stink about it. I don't know what's. Oh man, tell me I didn't just walk into a cutscene. <gasps> I think I did. I think I just walked into a cutscene. Yuna? Ah! Yuna! Inside, maybe? Then what are we standing here for? You tell that asshole. Can I, I can't get through one episode without saying that now. It's just... <laughs> hey! You can stuff your taboos! Really? <laughs> Persistent little booger. Oh, nice, Kamari. This is like the consummation of Kamari and Titus's relationship here. It's that, uh, again, with me picking the wrong freaking word, but... There you go. Dear. Yes! Oh, okay, he's just gonna let me go in by myself. Great. Okay, guys, so we are inside the... Uh, well, dude, more cutscenes? No. Oh, man. Oh, man. Are we gonna make it? I don't know. Well, any any extra time we have... Oh, goodness. Wait, my monitor? Thank you. Oh, okay, What's it's only that? 11 minutes. Yeah, I was gonna say. Punch of course. with the summoner. And together receive the Aeon. Oh, nice. They're human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. You're just now telling the me this? should be allowed to rest. No, they shouldn't. They don't have to experience pain ever again. Wait a minute, that's that guy we've been seeing. Oh, oh boy. And she just had a heart attack. And what? she yeah. died. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Warren knows better. Yuna! God, you're so beautiful. Kiss her, Titus. Get that taste out of her mouth. Oh, no, he's just gonna carry her. It's just like when Zidane carries Garnet in that one part of Final Fantasy IX. Wait! Which I always forget about. Don't come out! No! It's crap! Crap, crap, crap. Poop. Ah! <laughs> uh. There's the last of them. No. You are to stand trial. I'm what? I expect it will be a fair trial. Yeah. <laughs> of course it will. Ugh. I'm being your goddamn slave now. We made a deal here. So? So you're supposed to teach and I'm supposed to learn, remember? For four days I'm a bust in my ass. Okay, I gotta name Bahamut. Somebody told me they'd kick my ass if I didn't name him H.C. Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I, I already had plans here, so sorry. You know what? Wait, who are you naming it? Oh, I'm gonna name it Chugga. Or... Oh. Wait, where... I can't spell. Fail. Well, I really can't spell. Here, we're gonna be fan. What? 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 Dude! Pay attention to what you're doing. There. I'm not <laughs> sure if that's even right, but oh well. Confirm. Yes. It's Emil. <laughs> I think I just called it Emile or something. But... Oh, well. At e e M I L E. Old nudge over the E. Oh right, that melee. <laughs> mm -mm. Nice. The High Court of Yevon is now in session. But we will have to save this trial for next time. I think. The sacred officers of this court Maybe. seek nothing. Yeah, but yeah, we will. Because I just saved. So when I start Yevon's the game next time, name. it'll start here. So we're good. All right. Cool. Okay. So next time on Final Fantasy X. Even Yevon and 
Speak only the truth. We will speak the truth. See you later, guys. Mister Bye. Elk Ronso. <laughs> Perfect.